Hello and welcome to Yesterday's Airlines. In today's video, I have the honor of bringing you another new mold sample, this time from Aviation 400, who are definitely one of the most up and coming of the 400 scale brands, delivering some really interesting and highly detailed molds to the market and some really nice models. As you can see today, it is um, the Airbus A320 and Aviation 400 have sent me through two samples. The one on the stand is a CFM powered, sharply equipped later A320, I guess. And the one on the table is the IAE wingtip fence equipped A320. So these are both current engine option A320s. It wouldn't surprise me at all if Aviation 400 were working on the new engine option, NEOs 2. Obviously, with these two, you've got both wing types and you've got the capability to show off any A320 CEO, just need new engines to be able to make NEOs. And these aren't obviously the first A320s that have been made new this year. NG Models has also released their molds and I reviewed the samples of those not long ago and the first releases have been out. So it's interesting that Aviation 400 are also hitting this space in the market, but not entirely surprising because let's face it, A320s are everywhere nowadays and it's difficult for you to really get far if you're not producing some. So with this A320 production for Aviation 400, that means that NG models have a mold, so do Panda, Aero Classics, JC Wings and Gemini. And who am I missing? Phoenix, obviously, Phoenix also have a mold too. So everybody's got an A320, though most of the molds are quite old. Some of them are not particularly great. So it's interesting that AV400 also come in. This is their very first narrow body mold that they've ever produced. And yeah, it will be interesting to see what they make. I suspect that they'll produce um, quite a, a large number of the usual suspects in terms of Asian and Chinese carriers, uh, but hopefully they'll also branch out and produce something a bit more interesting and you never know maybe even some retro stuff it's possible but not necessarily likely anyway we will be checking out these molds in a bit more detail in this video if you haven't already check out the written review at the website yesterdaysairlines.com which goes into some really close-up detail on these new mold samples and obviously if you enjoy the video please like and subscribe to the channel Check me out at yesterdaysairlines.com and check out my Instagram and Facebook at Yester Airlines. I want to thank Aviation 400 very much for sending me through these samples and showing the trust that they have in me to review them. So thanks very much for that. And now let's get on to look at these in a bit more detail. So I'm going to start off with the IAE V2500 powered wingtip fenced equipped A320 here. As you can see, there is a little bit of damage here to the wingtip fence, but that's um, not a reflection of the mold. That's just a bit of damage in transit. So ignore that, don't worry about that. Um, but what you can see is overall, if we look at the model, that it looks very much like an F320. Obviously it's got the overall feel of the type really nicely down pat here. So that's good. I mean, and to be honest, there are some F320 mods out there that don't necessarily look that much like an A320. I'm looking at you, Phoenix, and JC Wings. Um, both of you are A320s. Yeah, there are things about them look like 320s, and then there are things that make me think, not really. And I don't have that feel with this Aviation 400 mold. Straight away, you can see that they've got the general look and feel of the type correct. And I'm really liking, to be honest, what I'm seeing here, even maybe a bit more than I did with the NG models versions. I really like this nose area and it feels a little a little more elegant maybe, a little less chunky than on the NG version. So that's nice. I certainly think that it's got the right look and feel. If we take a look at the, the nose gear here, which is obviously an important area for the 320 because it does have quite a characteristic look to it, then I think they've got that nicely done. It's got that slight lean forwards. It's got some nice detail. It is maybe slightly chunkier than the NG version, but not really noticeably. The size and positioning and height are all good. And yeah, I don't really have any complaints about 
this forward portion of the mold whatsoever. I really like the look and feel of it. And I think that the, the shape around the cockpit looks good as well. It's obviously a little difficult to tell because there's no printing on it at the moment, but I think that broadly it's looking exactly as I would expect. If we move along to the wings, and if I maybe bring the aircraft around to the front, you can see they've got a nice angle to them. No problems there. And let's have a look at those wingtip fences on this wing here. And again, I, I'm liking the shape. They're asymmetric, which is correct. The top portion is, is certainly larger than the lower portion of the fence, and that's good. And overall here, I like what's happening with the wing shape and the flat track fairings. It is possible maybe that this outer fairing here could perhaps point up slightly more, but I mean, it's a very, very minor point. Otherwise, yeah, no complaints there on the wings. And similarly, if we look at the main gear, really nice gear, good shape, really nice gear legs, and good detailing as well here on the internal sides as well, the struts. So I think that's all looking really nice. Moving towards the rear of the aircraft, and again, no real complaints here at the tail. One thing that this mold doesn't have the NG did is this one doesn't have the panel lines. I actually don't think that's a bad thing. I do think that maybe on the NG version, they were a little bit too incised and lacking them or missing them off is, is not really unusual or out of line in any way. I think actually maybe they look a bit better without them. So. Yeah, I like the tail, I think it's looking good. The rudder's shape is looking nice and the vertical stabilizers, uh, sorry, horizontal stabilizers and the tail cone, all nicely proportioned at the right length and so on and so forth. So that's all looking good to me. And when we come to the engines here, the IE V2500s, I think the shape looks pretty good. Obviously it's an unusual engine because the hot and cold sections of the exhaust are merged together. Um, broadly, I'd say that the the engine pylons aren't bad either, have a decent shape, hang the engines nice and high. And when you look around the front, I think the fan blades look quite good as well. Obviously these are not see-through blades on these tiny little narrow body engines, even AV400 can't pull that off, but I am expecting this A320 to have what is nowadays their defining the defining area of the brand, I guess, um, and that is the nav beacon. So it'll be really interesting to see how these A320s look with the uh, the diagnostic red dual beacons that AB400 fit to their molds. But overall, really liking what I'm seeing here with this wingtip fenced IAE version of the aircraft. Okay, so over to the second sample, which has the CFM56 engines and the sharklets on it. Broadly, obviously, it is the same as the other, the fuselage, the undercarriage. Most of the control surfaces are the same and it looks just as good, if not better, actually, than the wingtip fence version, I would say. So, no real problems with the fuselage or the nose shape. Not really with the undercarriage either, which I really like. And the control surfaces at the rear are all really good as well. So, the differences here are obviously in the sharklets, and I actually think these sharklets are looking pretty good. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. It's difficult when they're so, there we go. So they've got a nice shape to them, perhaps. It could be a little sharper, maybe it's really hard and such small size. I think that broadly, the shape and angle of the sharklets here is really good, and the wings are looking really nice with those on. So I haven't got any major concerns there at all with the new wing. Looking at the CFM 56s from the front, I think they look really good. Some more good fan detailing there. And when we come around to the side of the engine, I think it captures the shape nicely. Obviously very different shape too on the IAE, but you've got the primary nacelle here, which looks good. And you've got the hot and cold sections of the exhaust here, which again, look nice. No real problems with the engine itself there. I would say that the pylons are not quite as good. They do hang the aircraft nicely, or hang the engines nicely here, especially at the top. This portion's fine above the engine, no problems with that. However, down here, just where the uh, 
the pylon is supposed to connect to this section, it doesn't quite. So I think that it will be better here if this portion connected to the hot and cold section of the exhaust there. And also when you look at the CFM engine, there's like a little spike that comes out here or the back where that joins to the pylon and that's also missing. So there's a little bit of detailing there on the engines which could be modified. But overall, you've got to say, when you look at this aircraft, it looks really, really nice. It's an excellent A320. And yeah, if I had to say, you know, whose mold is my favorite at this present time, I think I might pick this version <coughs> over the NG version and, and over the Panda version, which is also very good. So that's interesting. Now, one thing I haven't looked at so far is also another lovely piece of detailing on these molds, which I have to turn them over to show you. And that here is the underside of the aircraft. What you can see down here is that not only have they managed to, to mold in these little semicircular bulges on the underside of the main gear doors, and the only other mold that's got those is the NG version, but they've also got the actual main gear doors here as well, and they're etched into the mold, they're not printed on. So that's nice detailing, something which is not on the other molds. And underside has got some really good other detailing here. You can see that we've got these two triangular scoops here, both molded in. Presumably you also have the nav beacon as well. And it's got a really high level of detail, really, really nice. And I actually think the underside looks great on this aircraft. There we go, a bit better focus there. Now obviously you don't see the underside of these models very much when you've got them on display, but it illustrates, in my view, a uh, manufacturer that's really putting in that extra bit of detail. And if they're putting this sort of detail on the bottom of the aircraft, then it says something good about what they're gonna be doing elsewhere. So I tend to see detail on the underside of these molds as an illustrator really of the care which is put in elsewhere um, by manufacturers. So that is something that I do look out for. Okay, so let's a quick look around at these new mold samples. There's very little wrong with them. It makes it very easy to review samples when they're of such high quality. And these ones undoubtedly are. They look like an excellent pair of A320s to me. The only changes I would like to see are around the CFM engine pylons um, and just that area where it joins with the engines. And potentially you could look, maybe look at this out of flat track fair in here, but it really is a very minor point. Otherwise, the molds look near perfect, actually. Really, really good. And I'm looking forward to seeing what 8400 can produce on these. The only, obviously, the only thing that goes against 8400 at this point is that they do struggle to get models out in a sensible time scale and to release the sort of volumes that other brands do. I think if they could solve those problems, then they'd be a real force in the scale. I'm really enjoying looking at the models they're producing. They're producing quite a wide range of new models at the moment and they generally look great. And the models they're producing are usually good as well. So as long as they can keep up the quality that they had shown um, and keep producing the new molds and hopefully get them out of it sooner, I think they can really do great things for the scale. So. Again, I want to thank Aviation 400 for sending me through these molds. Hopefully you're excited by A320s as well. It's difficult to get that excited by A320s, I know, because there are so many around, but it's easy to get excited by seeing such high quality molds in 400 scale being produced week in, week out now by new manufacturers like AB400 and NG and others. Um, JC Wing's doing some great stuff too, for example. So there's definitely, um, some really high quality stuff being made in 400 scale at this moment. And it'll be interesting to see what AV400 can do with these A320s. Thanks very much for watching everyone. Check out my next video and I'll see you next time.